Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. You might be watching this video at any point of time. So today in this video, okay, I am going to show how to install the packages which are required for you to execute any uh, graphics program using OpenGL. So I have got this uh, software that is a uh, developer C++. It is freely available on the internet. But if you are watching this video on YouTube, I will be leaving the link to download this okay, from my Google Drive in the video description. Okay, in the, below in the video description, you will find the link to download these packages. So you just need to download this package and double click it. And it will take you through the process. Okay, it will ask you to click OK. Then it will uh, unpack the box. It is very easy. Okay, just click OK and uh, I agree. Uh, read the license agreement if you like. Then it will uh, specify what are the other associated files that we need. Okay, approximately we need a uh, 59.2 MB, let's like, say 60 MB. So click next. And you can select the destination where you like. Okay, I will take it uh, by default in my C. Then it will extract all the files and it will be done within a few seconds. Yes. Uh, here there is a tip for you that uh, you need to identify what is uh, your system configuration. That is, are you using a 32 bit uh, Windows? Or uh, this is for Windows, okay, definitely. This is for Windows uh, 7. So, is are you using it 32 bit Windows or are you doing a uh, using a 64 bit uh, Windows that you need to identify? Depending on that, you need to download the developer C++ uh, package. This is for 32 bit. So, if you are using a 64 bit, download it from the site, okay. Uh, if possible, I will leave the link for that also in the video description. So, let's say uh, finish. So it will start this uh, developer C++ okay. window. Okay. It, it's taking me in time. My system. Yeah. So it is uh, here. So I'll close for now. Just now we have installed a developer C++. It's a IDE, integrated development environment. So I need to also attach the GLUT package to execute my graphics functions. So here is the blood package. I just need to double click and say install. So just few seconds, it's done. I need to just close. So that's all for uh, the installation. So let's go and uh, verify that we have installed successfully. So we need to open the developer C++. So you may find the icon on the desktop. Then go to file, go to new, select project, then go to multimedia. And GLUT. So if your GLUT package is not installed, you will not find the GLUT here. So go ahead and reinstall it again if you don't find it. So mine is installed properly, so it says GLUT and give whatever the name you desire. Okay, let's say I will do test. Click OK and again it will ask me to view the name. So that was the name of the file and this is where it is asking me to give the name for the file. I may give the same name. Then it will automatically uh, show a sample file that is available. Okay, it is written by uh, Nagel Steward, November 2003. So I will go and to execute menu, compile it. So it will ask me uh, to give a name for this again. So I will say yes. So it's compiling and it's done. So if it says status done means without any error, it has compiled successfully. So close. Then again I will go to execute menu and say run. Ah. So this is the output for this program, okay, what it is written. So if you read uh, the comments here, so it will say if I press plus button, so the number of uh, primitives it is increasing. If I press minus button, it is number of decreasing. Okay, you can, I hope you can see the difference. Okay. So let us uh, go and execute a simple C program. I will select everything here and I will delete. So I have got a sample program here. So I will copy this sample program, a very simple program. So I will paste it here. So then again I will go to execute menu. I will say compile and run at a time. So it is asking me uh, to write main. You can see it will 
ask me to write it as a main so since I am writing the return type as main I need to specify the return value as well in this then compile this is how we get the error statement compile and run so this is the output of the program I have just made two lines using this code so this is how simple it is I hope you can also try it out uh, in your home okay I hope you enjoyed this video okay see you then in the next video bye bye